So welcome back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium, part of the Singapore Sports Hub of the State of the Art facility. Well, it's semi-finals day here at the Singapore Open. And after that men's doubles, we turn our attention to the first of the men's singles, an all unseeded affair. Zhao Zhengpeng, the left-hander from China, up against Kodai Naraoka of Japan. After that, we'll have the second men's doubles, and then we'll finish with the second men's singles. So plenty more still to come. But when we look at the men's singles draw from the quarterfinal stage, only two seeds left in, no former winners, five different nationalities because there was two uh, players from China. Uh, both the former champions incidentally lost in the second round, Chou Tianchen of Chinese Taipei. He was the 2018 winner and the 2013 winner, Tommy Sugiato. Both of them lost second round. So at quarterfinal stage, we knew we'd have a no new name on the men's singles trophy. And all eight quarterfinalists, none of them have won a title so far this year. So we'll have first time winner of the Singapore Open for 2022. Versus Chao Jung Pung. Looks slightly nervous as he was walking out there. Oops, there goes my notes. Kodai Naraoka, his opponent, making his first appearance at the Singapore Open. This man from Japan, whereas Gao Jung Peng is making his second consecutive appearance. Uh, but back in 2019, at the last Singapore Open, he lost in the qualifying. So the first meeting between these two players in international competition. Gentlemen, good luck. Black, red. You're red. Black. Short to serve. So the change of ends. Wanting to start the more difficult end, Naraoka. Still very much a youngster, the man from Japan, only 21 years of age. Actually turned 21 last month, whereas his opponent, Xiao Zhengpeng, is 26, born in Nangcheng, in uh, Zhejiang province, in the southeast of China, landlocked province, and currently 26 in the world ranking, and that's two places down from his career high, where he spent two weeks at the end of last month at 24 in the world. Reached the final of the Indonesia Super 1000 events at the start of uh, uh, this marathon Asian tour of the HSBC BWF World Tour. And you can see in the first round here, he beat uh, Pritpadob, who had been promoted from the qualifying, then Brian Yang from Canada, and then Nat Nguyen of Ireland. He was 18-20 down in that second game, saved three her game points uh, before eventually winning through 23-21. So to Kodai Naraoka, I was telling you, he's 21 years of age from Omora, Mori, in North Hongshu. That's about five foot eight, 173. And he, this week, went down from his career high ranking of 42, went down one place after seven consecutive weeks at his career high. Well, in the first round, he beat the man who had won the Korean Open 500 event, the left-handed Wen Hong Yang uh, from China, then beat the Asian Games gold medalist, number five seed Jonathan Christie, coming from a game down in that one. 
and then came from a game down in the quarterfinal as well. That was against Pranoy, who's been playing so well. Pranoy from India. It was actually 18-7 up in the third game and promptly well, lost eight points. So it all got a little bit nervy in the end, but he had had a massive lead against Pranoy in that deciding okay. game. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Hodai Naraoka, Japan. And on my left, Shao Junpeng, China. Shao Junpeng to serve, La Bowl, play. So this all unseeded semi-final. What an opportunity for one of them. Well, they've both been in a, a world tour final this year. They both lost the finals that they were in. I was telling you about Zhao Jungpeng in Indonesia at the Super 1000 event. Naraoka was in the final of the Korean Masters 300 events, lost out to Jeon Hyuk Jin from Korea. Uh, that's a good neck shot from the left hander. Yeah, very tight to the net. Oh, that may have been going long, you know. Nice. I didn't follow up. Narooka, delightful backhand cross court Three, net two. shot. And then hesitant on his next shot. Looks down at the line, tries to get his spatial awareness, but by the time he was playing it, it was far too late. Going wide, good angle. Well, only one player from Japan has ever won the main singles title here at the Singapore Open. That was Kento Momota. In fact, he won it twice, 2015 and 2019. Trust has been five Chinese players have won seven Singapore Open men's singles titles in the Open era. Xiao Junhua won two, and so did Chen Hong. Interesting that Xiao Junhua actually went on to represent Singapore in later years. Good rally. Oh, lovely net shot. Brilliant exchange. Yeah. Uh. Six, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. The fifth one was a little loose. Got what it deserved.
Uh, you can Seven. get a bit of a, an understanding of how severe the drift is by how far long of the back line that was. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to tell from that angle, but I can tell you it was miles long. In badminton terms, that is, not literally. That's going long too. Yeah, chose to play it. rally of the match so far. Missed it. Four, four, seven. Seemed to Hello. run out of patience Here's in the end. Well, maybe that was just entirely the sideways drift. Yeah, easily the longest rally. Well, he started the near side in his quarterfinal match against Pranoy, I'm pretty certain. He came back to win it. That's yeah, a super angle. Nine. I really like that. Clever. So to the mid-game interval. 11, I, With a six-point advantage, Zhao Chengpeng. Yeah, it's good pressure. Moving nicely, working hard. And he's just rewards the lead here at the mid-game interval. Yeah, jamming smash, the body smash, set up the rally. Oh, my goodness. Oh, trying a bit of trickery there. But 
way off the mark. looking a little worried at the moment, the Chinese coach, Xuanzhou. Well, he's challenging this so is Xiao Chong Punk. Yeah, busy talking to his man while we're awaiting the instant review system. Job by the line judge. Unsuccessful. One challenge to me. Nine, twelve. Play. <laughs> yeah, you can't have two goes, mate. Big miss as far as Chow Chung Pung is concerned. Golden opportunity. So now there's just one point in it. Well, scoreboard, yeah. And whizzed on to 12 all. Is eleven twelve. Now it's twelve all. He's done awfully well. Six straight points. He's a busy player on court, is Naraoka. Hard worker. That one stayed in as well. Seven straight points. 13, taken. Uh, I like that. Having pushed Naraoka deep into his forehand corner. Chao Jun Punk knew that the likely return was the straight drop shot and he was ready and waiting. the last 11 points since the mid-game interval. That's amazing. Hey. 
15-13. 10 of the last 12 points. Well, I'd love to know what his coach said to him. That's good judgment. Missed it. 16, 13. Well, he looked to be in severe trouble when he was 5'11 uh, down at the mid-game interval. Naroyoka. shot oh it's going wide 17 13 well Zhao Jung Peng in his three previous matches has not dropped a game so far he looks to be in trouble here having at one stage, looked to be cruising. Service over, 14, 17. Missed it. Oh, he was hesitant to return it. So be sober. Fifteen, eighteen. Oh. It wasn't that far away, was it? Thank you. Thank you. So going to be another twist in the tail of this opening game. Oh, that's superb. What a wonderful angle. From the left handed Jonathan. 17, Pong. 18. Look at that. Much better control as well with the sideways drift. So just one point in it. Huge point. Both know it too. Look at the intensity. Yeah. So the sober nineteen seventeen. This time he was ready to pounce, if you remember earlier, there was a net exchange and it was Judge and Punk who waited for the opportunity to pounce. Two point advantage and two points away from the opening game. 
make it one point away from the opening game for Kodai Naroka. Benefit of the lucky so net cord. Children come. That one. Because he was trying to lift the shuttle, he ended up as a sort of block. Yeah. Opening game on his second game point opportunity. 21 18. Twenty minutes for the opening game, coming from a six-point deficit at the mid-game interval. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Twenty-one eighteen. Twenty minutes, first game to Naroka. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, no ball. Well, it was a great comeback in the opening game by Kodai Naroka. Oh. Uh, and I think that the Japanese player believes he's now got the better end from which to play. It would certainly be my favourite end to play from hitting against the drift. And you can use the back of the court more without the fear of hitting long. Two. Missed it. Oh, he's challenging. challenging, thing, challenging no, I don't think he'll win that pass. challenge. Well, as I told you earlier, I'm a long, long way away from the court. And he was very quick about his challenge, but I saw daylight between the shuttle and the line. Yep, indeed there was. successful, one challenge remaining. Service over. Three, long, play. 
Yeah, good smash. Well, I think the so left hand there needs to Milan. perhaps rethink the game Three. plan. I think from this near side of the court, he's got to go more all out attack. See, defending in that rally. So Didn't so get more. him anyway. Four. Good smash. That's the way to do it. Use the width of the court and certainly smashing straight down Naroka's backhand side is a good option because any drift will help keep the shuttle in. Sideways drift, that is, that I'm talking about. Yeah, it's landed in. Over five two. Yeah, there it is again. Straight down the narrow oak backhand. Over Oh, that's way in. My goodness me. Was he thinking that was going to go out sideways? Six, three. Surely not. A little Four, verbal celebration six. there from Zhao Jung Punk. Well, that might be telling. I wonder if he's is indeed. You see every shuttle going in a downward direction there in that last rally. Good defense. Let's go wide. Ah, oh, he won the rally in the end. But my goodness, I am so convinced so that the left hander took one down seven. his forehand side that was going to go wide of the line with the drift. Charles Ranzer, still plenty of talk to his man. Ah. Awful lot of smashes down the centre of the court. Not really using the width. They're both reluctant because Seven, of the sideways drift four. to risk. Smashing wide in that rally. Look at that. That was right into the hitting zone. So was that. Nowhere near the sideline. But he's back level. Seven all.
for Zhao Zhongpeng, he's only ever won one international title. And you have to go back to the Macau Grand Prix gold in 2016. So very nearly six years ago. That the trophy that's presented to the winners of the World Tour Finals. Scheduled for Guangzhou at the end of this year. That's a beautiful defensive shot. But once again, well, can't tell from that where he's taking it. I don't think the shot was nearly wide enough. So the silver, eight, Broken four. strings. Hmm, maybe not. Well, it sounded very odd. Right into the corner. That's wonderful control by the left hander. First time he's been in the lead in this second game, Zhao Junpeng. For long. Nine. Oh. Oh, it's been ten years since a Chinese a player was in the men's singles final here at the Singapore Open. Unless uh, Xiao Zhengpeng can up his game. That's wide. Oh, he's challenging that. Challenge he's wrong here. He's got no challenges left. Well, the last Chinese player in the men's singles final here at the Singapore Open was Wang Xiaoming. Lost out in the final to Hu Sak Ponsana. Here we go. Oh, good challenge, that caught the line. That one's gone wide there. And it is indeed Koda Naraoka who has the lead at the mid-game interval. And he's already won the opening game. But just one point in it. Some Chinese fans in the crowd urging on their man. Eight. 
Good flick serve. Yeah, that's a good smash. Much, much closer to the sideline. Well, sideline of the singles course, too, of course, but I was pointing out a little earlier that he was too... His attacking play was far too... far towards the centre of the court rather than towards the sidelines. like that. There was good pressure from Zhao Jung Punk. Oh, that's going well wide. Uh, challenge now oh, no. from Naroka. Oh, it's his four. first challenge. Oh. First challenge of the match, but you can't carry your challenges over from the opening game. It's only two challenges per game. Rally. Well, this is four straight points now. 16, From 12 13 down to 16 13 up. Is this the decisive move of this second game? I wonder. Longest rally of this second game, but not the longest rally overall. That was 39 shots in the opening game. Oh. So oh, he changed his mind. 16. I think he's okay. I think he literally just tripped. Oh, gosh. Let's have another look. What happens? Oh, yes, he trips. Uh, I don't think his ankle went. I think he literally just tripped over. That could have been very nasty, though. 
Landing on his left knee. Oh, banged his head too. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Well, fortunately, he seems to be okay. Well, surely that's going to just disturb the concentration a little. So 15, 16. Ah, that's a good response 15. after his fall. Brilliant defence. Short. Yeah. 18. Three 15. point advantage and three points away from forcing a third and a siding game. Six of the last eight points to the left handed Zhao Jung Pung. It. 17, 18. Well, dangerous when you're hitting with the drift to go cross court in a situation like that. Perhaps would have been better to go straight down the line. Good net shot. Ah! Oh, cried behind the back. So the sober nearly worked. Such an important point. Brilliant smash from Zhao Jung Punk. So the silver, 20, big point. Threaded it down the line, had the courage and they go close to the line. And the courage is rewarded to gain point opportunities for Zhao Jung Punk to level this semi final at one game apiece. Well saved. Extremely so well saved. talking about the courage a moment ago of Zhao Jun Pan. Now I want to talk about the courage of this man, Naraoka. 
absolutely wanted to come on the rally. 20 all, an extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Well, courage again. Went for the net kill. On the third shot. A little bit fortunate. Against the net cords. Well, they all count. So having saved two game points, now there's a match point opportunity for Narooka. Good defence. It's gone wide. There's a silver. Defense. Brilliant. Well, I'm sure most of the fans would love to see a third and deciding game here. This is fascinating. Third game point opportunity for Zhao Junpeng. It's in. Amazing control from Narooka. Oh, just inside the line. Perfect. 22 all. Well taken. Well, Narooka asks the umpire if it was a fault. She says no, and I don't believe it was either. So fourth game point opportunity for Zhao Zhengpeng. Wonderful control and even better vision to see that's where the gap was. Look at that angle, though. Skimmed over the net. It's going wide. And now a second match point opportunity for Narooka. What a game. Yeah. And it goes into the net. 
and Kodai Naraoka has survived four game point opportunities before winning on his second match points against Zhao Chung Punk. 21 18, 25 23. What a fabulous men's yes. singles. Won by Kodai 50 Naraoka. minutes 21, of intriguing 18, badminton. 25, 23. And a first ever final for Naraoka at this level of World Tour event. His only previous, as we watch the final rally once more, his only previous final on the HSBC BWF World Tour was in Korea at a 300 event. 500 is a higher level than the 300 and the moment of realization for the 21 year old Kodai Naraoka. Relief as much as elation. Uh, what a terrific match, saving those four game points. 21 18, 25 23 in a match lasting 50 minutes. So welcome back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium, this magnificent venue and host for the third first time of the Singapore Open. Well, next up after that thrilling